Bet you've never seen one of these before. It is a Deepway Star, a battery powered electric big rig truck that costs the same as a diesel to buy, pulls the same as a diesel, but oh man, this thing costs pennies to run. All right, you join me in the cab. This is Jamie from eTrucks. Okay, first of all, start it up. How do you start it up? Put on the brake. Yep. That's it. That's it? She's running. Just like a Tesla. Let's take it for a drive and see what this electric beast is like. All right. All right, now we better crack into it. We're gonna go and hit the motorway, see what this thing's like on the open road. But right now, I wanna talk price and range. This is the important stuff that everyone wants to know. First of all, electric truck, it's gotta cost a million bucks, right? How much is it? It's your lucky day. This one here we've just got in. Um, we've got two of these trucks in the country just uh, a couple of weeks ago. With the eco funding that's available right now, we can buy this truck for 255000 plus GST. That's, that's, that is about the same as a diesel truck, comparable specs, right? Yeah, well it's actually a little bit cheaper and cheaper to run as well, of course. Oof, what does that mean for, because you, you, you must work in the industry with a lot of traditional diesel truck, truck, is there, uh, truck, truck drivers. Are they on board with this? Are they oh, scared of it? They're absolutely loving it. Really? Yep. They're loving it. The jaw drops when you tell them the price because they're all expecting high pricing. We'll get to more tech specs in a sec. One thing I want to address first of all is, uh, does it have air conditioning? Because it's yeah. getting really warm in here. Power mounted display. So this is just a giant touchscreen like a Tesla. Go coldest. Where do we go? Look at that. Got adjustable vents here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Huge car-like display. This is the most car-like truck I've ever been in in my it life. Is. They've always been kind of utilitarian. You've got the driver's section over yep. here full of dials and stuff. This is this is sci-fi, man. Yep. There's no buttons anywhere apart from hazard lights, horn, even your, your parking brakes and stuff. It's just small. That feels weird, though, because I associate trucks with buttons, you yep. know? So do you get a lot of attention driving this around? Oh yeah, we do. Um, phones, phones come out, videos. Oh yeah. Um, some some vehicles nearly go off the road actually. They're trying to film us go past. You think electric truck must be small? This is a beast. Yeah, it's a good size prime mover, and and you can see all the space we've got in the cab here. Yeah, there is space back there. There's this like there's an entire bed to lie down on. Yep, there's, there's bed. You can have option of having two bunks, so you can have oh, far one out. above the other. You've also got I notice there's some storage under the bed here as well, and there's a, a power outlet down there, one kilowatt power outlet. So yep. You can run your appliances, your toaster, your microwave, well, fridges, whatever. most microwaves and <laughs> yeah, most toasters. I know, right? All right, now we've got to talk uh, tech specs. That's what the uh, truck drivers watching this want to know. So motor power, do you know what its peak motor power is? Well, I'll talk horsepower because a lot of trucks are horsepower. So this one's um, 656 horsepower. She's got plenty of boogie. The torque is off the scale. I've never seen a vehicle with this much torque in it. Is that like 75,000? 75,000 Newton meters. Are you yes. sure that's not a misprint? No, that's correct. So you could like theoretically power up the Bombay Hills and just leave every diesel truck behind. It, and it does. So we're getting on the motorway now as quickly as you would in a car. It's Yeah, we're doing 69 just 69. Then, so. so its top speed is limited to 90, right? Ah, uh, yes, it will be for okay, our roads. Right. I mean, it's it's a hundred and something, but yeah, it's limited. Okay, okay, so it can do more than it 90, can. obviously, yeah, right? Yeah, right. for sure. The thing with the old diesel trucks is you, you sort of needed a bit more, so by the time you got to the hill, Oh yeah, you get a little run. You up. had a little run up. Momentum, yeah. This yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. You can just you can power be up. at the bottom and just put your foot down. And then on the way down the Bombay goes. Hills, you're regen braking. I guess it has regen braking. Yeah, it has. This one has five stages. Oh yeah. So it's on the uh, the transmission button here. Let's talk range because uh, this is the thing that people want to know. How far can you go? Let's just say you've loaded up. How far can you really go? This particular truck with uh, 49, uh, 49 tons, sorry. Yep. Um, you're going to get 400 kilometers of range. That's well past Topol. Yeah. Far out. We, that, that's that's got to be like Tuarangi. That's insane because I read that uh, New Zealand trucker, I think the magazine said that the average New Zealand truck delivery driver only does 150 k's a day anyway. Yeah. So that's more than the average person needs. Absolutely. And and you can charge during the daytime as well, if you, even like your lunch break, whenever if you just, oh, yeah, just well, a top up, you that's know. That's a good point. Okay, so you're not so limited to that 400. You can have way more in a day. What about charging time? Is it is it eight hours? Is it seven weeks? How long does it take to actually charge? This truck is equipped with uh, 2C fast charging. Oh yeah. So we can charge 70 minutes. 70 minutes. Okay. Yeah. It's obvious if you're watching these videos that I love electric transport that's why I'm so jazzed about it but you've driven diesel trucks before how does yes. it compare oh it's you, you just don't get tired like you can drive this all day and 
you know how quiet it is right now. Yeah, we can have you, a normal conversation. There's no but vibrations, nothing. What are we doing? We're all well, doing 80. 80 k's an hour, we yeah, can just talk just, normally. Here we go, we're already doing 90, so that's how that's quick insane, it is to, to get up to speed. It just feels like a big car. And it feels like one to drive, it's beautiful. Everything's power assisted, plenty of safety features. Okay, now I did some I did some number crunching before I jumped in here. So if you were to own a similarly spec diesel truck, I figured out that you're gonna be looking at about $1,300 to fill it up completely. Yes, you get more range than this out of a tank full, but once it's burned up, that profit margin you had, you shrunk a bit. This, you can fill up if you're on like the EcoSaver plan from Ecotricity and e-trucks, they run on Ecotricity. This truck is filled with renewable climate positive Ecotricity electricity can't beat that. Well it costs you about 140 bucks or so to take 49 tonnes, three or 400 kilometres. Plus you've got no road user charges for another couple of years with trucks. So if you're tossing up between buying an electric truck and a diesel truck, you would have to have the financial literacy of MC Hammer to choose the diesel over this with the current price that it is. Have you had much interest from truck drivers or are they sort of like scared of it? No, um, plenty, plenty of interest actually. Uh, we just went to the E-Roads oh, show. Yeah? Um, we only had the truck for, I think it was three days prior to that show, so it was just a quick wash down and get it down there. And, right. um, yeah, plenty of interest. We've it's got, insane. I had, you had to raise your voice slightly because the diesel yes. truck was next to us. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Yeah. This is the future. This is, this is, it's not really the future. It's just now. It's now. This truck has actually already been through a COF. Um, it's registered, got number plates, so oh, yeah. we can sell this truck today. Far um, oh, wait, if you've got vines. Oh, yeah. look at that. Yep, so when the sun gets here, just oh, that is cool. pull it down and then you just pull a little cord over oh, yep. in the corner and she goes up. Oh, look at that. Tucked away. <laughs> Tucked away. It's famous tip top corner coming around in the future. Far up. I've just put active cruise control on. Are you so serious? Now I don't even need to push the throttle. So, or so it's just monitoring the speed of the truck in front? Yep. And it's it's doing all the driving for so you. So we're, we're just on 89 kilometers an hour now, and that's where she'll sit. That's crazy. If any man. cars cut in front of us, it's obviously going to drop the speed back. Yep. And safely give you the distance. And I noticed that this has got uh, mirrors instead of the cameras on That's the right. Windrose truck that I was in the last time I came along for a joyride. That was That's a really right. impressive truck and I'll, I'll put yep. a link underneath this video so you can watch that one as well. The weather was a little worse. This one however, it's got just as many cameras or at least it seems to around the outside, but it's also got something I saw called platoon mode. Yes. Like, what so, is platoon mode? Okay, so basically for low speed areas such as ports on the wharfs that kind of thing you can have this particular truck with the trailer and one driver and up to four or five trucks behind with a trailer and no driver and it will follow this front truck who's controlling the front truck the driver in this truck oh so he just he sits there in yep. the truck yep and he's just crawling along around the port for example that's right oh okay so it's exactly. like a platoon yeah, yep. yeah exa <laughs> exactly now that theoretical charging speed you mentioned earlier uh 50 minutes or so that would be if you had the right high power charges for this truck right correct yep. okay so and that is a thing i need to address is that, that is like megawatt charging char vehicle charges that can charge at a thousand kilowatts they don't exist yet the technology exists but they aren't in new zealand yet but it's kind of like a chicken and the egg thing. At least we, now we know which is first. It's, yes. it's, it's the chicken. Yes, so. exactly. <laughs> those chargers, those megawatt chargers are coming soon because there are cars you can buy, like BYD makes one in China that can recharge in five minutes. I'm not kidding. This is a real car that exists. I saw it with my own eyes. And the same thing will happen for trucks right now. And it has a, a dual gun port, so you can you can put two chargers okay. into it. Am I right that this can also do battery swapping if necessary? Uh, yeah, not this particular model right here, yep. but yeah, we do so have... So in theory you can have we this... We can, you can opt for that as well. Or this as a battery swapping yes. version. Okay, cool. You now one thing I noticed that this... Uh, oh, it's got electric windows as well, but it's also got suicide doors. I have not it seen does. that in a car since a Rolls Royce. Yeah. Although, we can't call them suicide doors now. I think it's I think self-harm doors is the uh, the politically correct way right, to say it. Right, It's uh, quite so a cool feature. <laughs> They're pretty neat, they, yeah. They open right up so you can get in and out quite yeah, easily. almost 90 degrees as well. And hey, you could either use them to slow down or... Oh, yes, yeah, or just see parachute doors. Or, or open them and, and take off and fly. Yeah, you know? or just collect people on the yeah. side of the road. <laughs> You're coming home with me. You know you get a feeling sometimes when you're driving a bit of equipment and you just know that, ooh, this is a big deal. Yeah. And getting that vibe off this truck, eh? This is, this is nothing like anything I've seen before. No, it's, it's pretty cool, man. And um, like I said, we've only had it for a couple of weeks, so we've, we've got planned demos for it now. Oh, um, yeah? Starting, starting this week and, and going into next week as well. It's already booked out, I think, until September. Actual cigarette? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be a plastic plug. <laughs> 
spec wise it looks fantastic what about a warranty though because you know don't the people on facebook told me yeah, with those electric trucks you're going to replace the battery every 12 months or something yeah well <laughs> i think we might have one of the best warranties around for this uh, okay model. go put so, on your sales hat tell us here we go <laughs> so this one's a eight year battery warranty or 1.5 million kilometers okay that's pretty good that's really good that's pretty good you know, one thing I was thinking about is that the NZTA says that there's a shortage, a driver shortage in New Zealand of about 3,500 drivers. And I'm wondering if this would make it easier to learn to be a truck driver. Because, I mean, you've got no gear changing requirements anymore. Well, you don't it, have to learn gear changing. No, nah, exactly. Um, and I mean, I haven't driven trucks for, I don't know, 15 odd years, I guess. Yeah. Um, and just jump straight into it and it's no problem at all. Size, you know, yeah it is a big truck, but you know, once you've driven a truck you, you don't forget. Like I said, you just don't get tired. Changing, you know, pressing the clutch, the heavy clutches, all that's gone. So yeah, you're gonna get the young guys coming through, get trained up and away you go. It's great, if, if you, I mean, uh, up until 90 k's now, if you see a space in the traffic, just gun it. Exactly. Just get in there in yeah, a truck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you gotta get up to these Scania's and give them a little wave. Yeah. <laughs> see, we're passing a combustion powered truck bit of the past there with these that's easy man how's that going <laughs> is it the accountants that are interested in it or the drivers themselves because i can't imagine all the truck drivers in new zealand are going to say yes electric well funny you say there was one of each actually oh real um, so the, the, <laughs> the boss was there and the driver and and we came back from our little test run and he got out and went straight to the boss and said I can't wait to drive one of these. So I'm guessing it's relatively easy to park. You've got no shortage of cameras around here. It's actually quite good. Um, gives you halo views, um, oh, front yeah. and rear. Quite good when you're coming into a building and you're not sure how, because it's got it's quite a big front on it. Um, yeah. Not with a nice spoiler bumper. You don't want to smash that off. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you just turn the camera on and. Um, see, look at this guy filming with his, with his phone. Look at that. The other guy was looking as well. He's looking as well. Look, the truck drivers are looking at this thing, man. The trucks, that's the next big frontier. And yep. it's always been in the past, like they're too slow or too ugly or, or too lethargic or they don't go far enough. But this thing, 400 Ks, 49 tons, 255 grand plus GST. It's a lot to like, eh? It's a lot to like, especially to like. if you're an accountant. And that is the guts of this, the new Deepway Star, a fully battery powered electric truck. And if you are a truck driver watching this, you might want to come down and have a look at it because this may very well be your next truck. <laughs>